Good morning. Today is January 2nd, 2018. It is my first recording for 2018. And as of right now, I am not working at the restaurant anymore. Woo! And I am creating, literally creating my own reality. I just woke up this morning about 45 minutes ago. And one of the things I decided to do, try and do every morning, is do a really deep meditation with possibly some trance, um, some trance channeling. And today was actually pretty interesting because I woke up and, you know, like I said, I came out, meditated, and I envisioned my sacred space, which began with me in the mountains not too far from my house um on this little trail that I really enjoy that has like a nice runoff creek and it's really magical and so I was there and then I'm walking down the trail along the creek and then there's like this little bridge um like tiny tiny little crossway bridge but there um like the bridge, I guess, is parallel to what was basically a hovercraft. And it was kind of like dome shaped. Like if you think of a temple and like if they have the top and it's like a little dome, that's what it was. And like it appeared to have windows, but they, you know, when I walked in, so at first I couldn't get in. I was just standing there and it was kind of there. And the outside of these windows were all, like, chakra colors. There were seven windows, at least seven, that had the each, each of the chakra colors. And then eventually I was able to go in. And when I go, went in, it was, like, I stepped into space. Like, I stepped in this, into the sky. There was, like, dark with stars. And, but somehow, like, you know, the bottom of it was almost like a Moroccan style, like lounge, I guess, with like floor pillows, very beautiful colors. I remember there like being like little glass bowls of like nuts and greens and fruit and stuff like that. And when I got in there, just me and I was pretty much sitting in meditation the whole time. And it was like my body was extended to the hovercraft. Um... And that's kind of where the the focal point of my meditation was. And, you know, I invoked my higher self. And basically, I wanted to ask the question, you know, why the past two days, you know, since or since my last day of work, even though I have been craving this, I've been so excited about not having to live that life anymore. um, I just have been a little, not depressed, but kind of having a little bit of anxiety, which I haven't experienced in a while, at least not like this consistently. Um, And so I like invoked my higher self and I asked, you know, why am I feeling this way? And I was told that, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable at first because I, you know, I I obviously stepped out of my comfort zone. I'm not used to not having a job, quote unquote. And, um, is just, yeah, I'm in an uncomfortable spot, even though it feels good and I want to be really, really happy. You know, for me, I have this vision of where I want to be. And obviously there's a process to get there and things are moving along, but they're moving along, you know, at a pace that is, that makes sense. You know, I'm not just going to be like all of a sudden, like, boom, clients all the time. And like, you know, I'm making all this money, like there's a process and I need to be patient and, you know, just do my thing and do what I should be, you know, what I came here to do and, you know, have faith that the universe will, you know, work in my favor and work with me and like things will, you know, begin to go as they should. And that was one of the biggest things I got. Um, I also was getting little flashes of, I had a flash of an image and I don't know if it was like a sheep or something. It was very unclear. And when I do have these images, what I this and this is only the second time that it's almost happened. The first time, like I said before, it was like a tiger and it was very vibrant, even though it's like in black and white. And it's interesting because 
these images are so cool the way they come in it's like like a little flash of like if you if you seen like lightning flash like in the clouds it's like that first and then like a, a small like black and white image comes through and it's cool because it like it's like coming towards me so it's like coming like out of the smoke almost like towards me like so it gets a little bit clearer but this time I wasn't wasn't able to um have it it was and it didn't come out rather clear so um you know next time hopefully I will get some clear images and I'm going to try to do this every day so I can get stronger with this. And, um, I was also to- told by my higher self that I, um, should come with a question or an intent, especially if I'm going to do it every day. So maybe just like one little question and then see where it goes from there. And I think I will start out by going to the sacred place and then following the creek and going into the hovercraft and that's kind of where things take off so I am so looking forward to this journey I am a little bit kind of meh feeling but it is day one I already had the new year holidays and all that stuff so today is the first day where I'm going to kind of get to um really start getting things moving as far as like work and my projects that I have lined up. Luna Goddess Circle starts in about two weeks or maybe a little over two weeks. So I'm really excited about that. That's coming and I have some um, some readings that I have coming in the next two weeks. So um, I will be back to do another entry. Namaste.